Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today in this short video lecture i will guide you how to place rcc column on layout plan means positioning of column so this is the most important topic so therefore watch this video till the end to know how to place rcc column on layout plan where is the best place for positioning of column so if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free guys you can see here the width of this house is 30 feet and length is 75 feet this is located uh, its front is located to the uh, the road side okay so three sides are closed so here we have a house here we have house at this side also we have house only front is open so guys you can see here these green uh, hitching can show you the columns okay so these are columns here you can see clearly these are columns okay if you see guys remember you can keep for normal residential building the span between two column okay so maximum span is you can keep up to 18 feet this is maximum span and minimum is 4 to 5 feet this is maximum span for normal residential building and this is minimum space okay so here guys you can see clearly let me uh, let me start from the back side so guys you can see this is boundary wall okay so the for the boundary wall you can keep the uh, normal uh, span between two column up to 14 feet okay guys you can see this is a corner so you can keep the column here so this is the column position here this is the other column and here this is 30 feet so up to 14 to 16 feet you can keep or from 14 to 16 feet so here you can place three columns at this boundary wall okay so same like this you can distribute it by or divide it by 15 to uh, 15 to 16 feet or 14 to 16 feet next guys you can see here this is bath okay so which length is 12 feet and width is 6 feet so if you see here guys the length of this bedroom is 16 feet okay this is 16 feet so therefore guys you can see this is one column and this is other column so here this length is guys 16 feet okay so therefore we placed one column here one here so here we have also the one column that's why because it is going more than 18 feet so therefore we place three columns here one two three on this direction that's why because 16 feet plus 20 uh, 6 feet so it become 24 feet so for normal residential building you can keep the span for two column up to 18 feet so in that case guys you can see we have one column here for the bath this is the other one this is the other one now as you uh, now you can see guys the width of this bedroom and the bath is 12 feet 9 inches so therefore we placed one column here the other column here for this one at this corner this is the pantry so this is corner therefore we placed the other one here next guys you can see here this is a kitchen size of this kitchen is 10 feet 4.5 inch by 16 feet so here guys you can see this is the green hitching so this is column this is the other column because this length is 16 feet so therefore we placed here this is uh, the middle column for this uh, for kitchen and bedroom so this is also the column okay next this is the column if you see here this is guys up to this is up to 10 feet so therefore we placed one column here so this is the column this is the column here this is the corner so this is the column okay next guys you can see here this is a tv lounge so the length of this tv lounge is 15 feet 6 inches so therefore we placed one column here so this is already the corner column for this bedroom next guys you can see here this is the dining so the size of this dining is 11 by 11 feet so therefore you can see this is the other column this is the other corner column so here guys if you see this is the length is 5 feet and here you can see this is 15 feet and 6 inches so therefore we did not place here only one column but we placed three columns here that's why because 5 feet plus 15 feet and 6 inches so it become 20 feet and 6 inches so therefore we placed three columns okay so one two three column for this uh, uh, because this is the end column so therefore this is very important to place okay as i told you the minimum uh, the minimum space uh, you uh, the span you can keep from four to five feet so therefore you can see here we placed here next guys you can see this is a drawing room for this drawing room the length is here 30, uh, 15 feet the width is 13 feet so this is the column this is the column and this is the corner column for this dining 
next guys you can see here this is the car porch so for for that reason we have this this is the column for this car porch and this is the end column okay this is main gate you can see the columns so guys here for normal residential building if you are going for a g plus one story means for double story so you can keep the size of column up to nine inches by 12 inches so this is the size of column guys you can see okay so the column should be placed at the center next guys you can see you can keep are used here for double story six steel rods like this okay and the dia you can keep up to 12 mm okay and the lateral tie dia you can keep up to this is concrete cover etc okay so uh, here uh, the lateral tie dia you can keep up to 8 mm with the spacing of 150 to 200 mm center to center okay, this is also very important to provide uh, the uh, from 6 to 8 inches you can keep the span uh, the distance between two lateral ties okay for the beam you can keep uh, the the beam size also 9 by 12 inches okay because this is normal residential building which is up to two story so guys you can see clearly hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye